Following the worrying news of King Charles' cancer diagnosis, a source told OK. With. Why Prince Harry panicked, and immediately returned. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Info Mate. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry's immediate decision to return to Britain following the news of King Charles' cancer diagnosis sparked fears the situation could be much worse than it appeared. But after a meeting that lasted 45 minutes, some insiders said only 12 of those were spent in person, many of those concerns dissipated when the 75-year-old king looked healthy and warm, greeted the crowd before leaving for Norfolk on a helicopter from Buckingham Palace with Queen Camilla, 76. And after just 25 hours in the UK, the Duke of Sussex, 39, was back at Heathrow Airport for another 5,000-mile journey across the Atlantic to be reunited with his wife and two youngsters' children. Harry was quite panicked when he heard the news about his father and wanted to travel to the UK as quickly as possible, a source exclusively told OK. He needed to know if what his father had told him on the phone about his illness was true and if it wasn't something he had kept quiet so as not to worry him. When he was sure that the king was in good hands, he calmed down a little and realized that he had time to set things straight. The reason for Harry's sudden return was attributed to a son's understandable concern for his father, but when every major family event and national occasion was declared as an olive branch to reconcile members of with the royal family in conflict, he immediately flew to his father's side to prove that this was the case. Is there still hope? It seems so, as the source revealed. His father told Harry it would take time, but there was hope for the future. The short duration of the visit came as a surprise to many, but former BBC correspondent Jenny Bond stresses that a long conversation was never planned. We were all hoping for some sort of fairy tale reunion after the shocking news that Charles has cancer, but life isn't like that. These are complex family relationships that cannot be resolved with a magic wand. It seemed extraordinary that Harry would fly here just to see his father and Camilla leave for Sandringham. So, what does this tell us? She underlines that it is necessary to work towards full reconciliation between father and son. Charles was also tired after his first cancer treatment dash which was to be expected, and that's another reason why the meeting was so short. A health crisis like this is not the time to solve family problems. The king must concentrate fully on healing him. Stress is detrimental to cancer recovery, so now is not the time to erase everything that happened between them. The news of the King's cancer diagnosis was confirmed by Buckingham Palace at 6 p.m. on Monday 5 February, in a statement explaining that the King had already begun a program of regular treatment. While the monarch will continue his work behind the scenes with his daily red boxes, weekly calls with the Prime Minister and monthly Privy Council meetings, the Prince of Wales is expected to take over some of his father's duties. Okay that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe for more.